Apple heads, Apple fans, Apple developers, Apple everything. Um, I want to make this video as short as possible, so I'm going to try to get right down to it. This is going to be a test running on the latest um, um, iMac 5K maxed out. I'm going to do a benchmark test on the two new um, Samsung portable um, SSD uh, T5s, the new blue ones that just came out. I want to run a benchmark test to see how fast these things can really, really run. And I'm going to rate them together and see how fast that's going to work. So as you can see right now, um, everything is pretty much maxed out. Then it's the 5K. Uh, I got um, storage maxed out. And um, I got these two um, these two um, SD, uh, SSD um, 500 gigabytes. I'm going to rate them together. Okay, so what we're going to do first, we're going to... Um, I'm just going to run the benchmark. This is the internal drive itself. This is the 500... Um, terabyte 512 I think it's the 512 terabyte internal this is what the Mac is running full capacity so as you can see I'm getting some really really good read and write speeds you know within the 1900 um, megabytes per second read uh, speed and a little over 2000 megabytes write speed so that's that's the internal speed itself now as far as the uh, the hard drives are concerned of course as you can tell these are going to be exact same so I'm only going to run one and you can kind of see uh, you know, you'll see both of them. Um, you'll see both. I mean, they pretty much are going to run both the both run the same speed because they're exact ones. So let's do a speed test on it. And you can see right now it's doing about 470 uh, read speed, I mean, write speed, and it's probably going to be a little bit over 500 um, read speed. Uh, also, just a side note, I do have them inside of the uh, Thunderbolt, the new Thunderbolt ports. Um, these drives do come with the USB. I actually tried those, but the speeds are a little bit slower, even if you use the USB, uh, the you know the uh, USB Cs. So just use the Thunderbolt ports that uh, Thunderbolt cables that come with, so you can maximize those speeds. So you can see that's what it looks like when you. Um, this is just the the read and write speed for the, you know the um, the drives without them being rated. And it seems like it's going down a little bit. But uh, we'll, we'll we'll get back we'll get back to that later. All right. So now what I'm going to do is show you how to do the rate. What I like about Sierra um, uh, Mac OS Sierra is they already have. If you open up your disk utility, they already have a um, a way that you can automatically rate them together. Uh, if you click on the file, you're not able to see it right now. But if you click on file uh, on the disk, I mean, open up disk utility click on file and then go all the way down to rate assist that's where you'll see um, you'll see where it, you can choose your your uh, your rate type um, I use rate type stripe because what it does it, it doubles everything I tried the mirror uh, rate one before and it really singles everything out I mean it takes both of those drives and and it's going to write to both drives in case one failed it's backed up on the other I tried that and uh, the read write speed is still stays the same, uh, so that really isn't. I'm sorry, the read speed stayed the same. I'm sorry, let me make sure I got this right. The write speed stayed, stayed the same, but the read speed uh, increased about 800. So we don't have to do that. I'm gonna just take my word for that. We're gonna do the stripe. So we hit next on stripe. You just select these the ones the two you want to stripe. You hit the next, and it's gonna ask you how do you want to rate them together. I mean, how do you want to um, what do you want to name it to? Right now, I'm going to say raid test. Uh, now, actually, I'm going to say um, uh, Sam um, SSD. Um, we're going to say um, one uh, one gigabyte because that's what it's going to rate to when you put both well, one terabyte because that's what's going to happen when you rate them together. Hit the next button, hit the create. It's creating a partition for both of those. Create the raid. It's pretty fast too. That's what I like about this one. It was pretty fast. Um, it's gonna ask me, do I wanna make a backup? Said nope. Hit done. Now, and you can see, this is the new RAID drive. It's it has one gig of space. You know, minus the you know the. Um, I guess it used that for some other type of data. I don't know for sure how that works in the background. For you techies, y'all, you guys can leave me a comment as to what that why am I using six hundred and sixty-two megabytes. For, for just a clean open space let me know but anyways so now I'm gonna run here and hit the target drive 
we're gonna do this new raid and let's see how it's gonna max out you ready three two one boom almost 900 megabytes write speed and read speed it's hitting up to nine uh, a little over 950 so there you have it if it, it dealt, everything seemed like it had doubled and uh, of course you had to double the speed hold on it's 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 a I, I like it I like it um, one thing I learned I guess from another video uh, when it comes to rating the um, the hard drives is, is uh, if you go back to disk utility um, it's showing that you can actually when you hit on the raid you can actually add another well I see the delete but there was someone showed me a way you could actually add another raid another drive or something maybe it's not on this particular software maybe this version didn't give it to you but you can delete those the, the raid and then what it will do is just revert them back to um to both you know two separate drives and there you have it like i said i'm gonna try to make it quick i know i'm long-winded so i'm gonna just cut the video real short hope you guys leave me a comment leave me a um, um you know subscribe if you would like to and i'll try to bring some more videos when i find out do stuff about you know the iMac music software and things that I, I like and I'll try to um, send those out but uh, I'm still still slowly um, trying to build my my fan base you guys uh, leave a comment let me know if anything else that you you all want to for me to for you to test out for you to see and uh, yeah, I'll do my best to uh, get that information out to you thanks you guys for watching and um, take care until next time